on their structure, sentences can be of various kinds. They can be simple or compound or complex. A sentence can be transformed into different forms without changing the meaning of the sentence. So we can essentially change a simple sentence to a compound sentence or a complex sentence without changing their meaning. So it is the method of expressing the same idea, meaning or concept in a different grammatical form. Today we shall learn how we can transform a compound sentence to a complex sentence and vice versa. Before we learn how to do that, let us quickly revise their characteristics. So if I say, Mark and Jim play tennis every day, so they have improved their game, it is a compound sentence. And Mark and Jim play tennis every day after they return from school is a complex sentence. So a compound sentence is made up of two or more main clauses and no subordinate clause. So in this sentence, Mark and Jim play tennis every day and they have improved their game are two independent or main clauses. It has two or more finite verbs, play and have improved and the clauses are joined by either coordinating or correlative conjunctions. In our example, they have been joined by the coordinating conjunction, so. Whereas the complex sentence has one main clause and one or more subordinate clauses. So in our example, Mark and Jim play tennis every day is the main clause and after they return from school is a subordinate clause so this sentence has one main clause and one subordinate clause and it has two or more finite verbs. So what are our verbs here? Play and return. These clauses are joined either by subordinating conjunctions or relative pronouns or relative adverbs or question words. In our example, they have been joined by the conjunction after. The magician took the stage and the audience started clapping. Now this is a compound sentence. It is made up of two independent clauses. The magician took the stage. The audience started clapping and both these clauses are joined by the coordinating conjunction and. Now we have to change this compound sentence to a complex sentence. How will we do that? So from both the clauses, any one clause will be changed to a subordinate clause, whereas the other clause will remain the main or the independent clause. So how will we do it? Now when you read this sentence, you will realize that both the clauses show a quick succession of events. So the magician took the stage. This happened first and then the audience started clapping. So the magician took the stage is actually the part which is showing the time that the audience started clapping. So how will we write this as a complex sentence? We will write it as when the magician took the stage, the audience started clapping. So what have we done here? This clause, the audience started clapping, remains as the main clause, the audience started clapping, whereas this independent clause has been changed to a subordinate clause by using when. So we have made it when the magician took the stage. So this clause has become the subordinate clause which is doing the work of an adverb showing time. So this is the adverb clause of time. Hence this sentence when the magician took the stage the audience started clapping is a complex sentence. Now we can also write it as, as the magician took the stage, the audience started clapping. Now remember that we have put a comma 
to separate the main clause and the subordinate clause in both these cases. Now, instead of beginning the sentences with the conjunction, we can also write the sentences with the conjunction in the middle. So, we can also write the sentences as the audience started clapping when the magician took the stage or the audience started clapping as the magician took the stage. All these forms are correct forms of writing the complex sentence. Jim saw a thief breaking into the neighbor's house and called the police. So again this sentence is made up of two independent or main clauses. Jim saw a thief breaking into the neighbor's house Call the police. This actually means he called the police. Jim called the police. Now the clauses here again show a succession of events. This happened first and then immediately this happened. So how will we write this as a complex sentence? We will write it as, as soon as Jim saw a thief breaking into the neighbor's house, he called the police. So what have we done here? This part remains as the main clause. We have just introduced the subject here to make it clearer. He called the police. And this part, Jim saw a thief breaking into the neighbor's house, has been changed to a subordinate clause using as soon as. So our clause becomes as soon as Jim saw a thief breaking into the neighbor's house, he called the police. Now we can also write a complex sentence as when Jim saw a thief breaking into the neighbor's house, he called the police. Now since this part shows the time, we can use the conjunction when we can also write Jim called the police after he saw a thief breaking into the neighbor's house. So we have used the conjunction after here to join both the clauses. In all these cases, the meaning of the sentence remains the same. So you will see that we can write our sentences either beginning with the conjunctions or with the conjunction in the middle like the last sentence. She tried her best, but she did not succeed. Now this sentence is made up of two independent or main clauses. She tried her best. She did not succeed. We have used the conjunction but because both the clauses show contrasting ideas. So how can we write a complex sentence showing a contrasting idea? We can write it as though she tried her best, she did not succeed. So we have used the conjunction though to show the contrast. Now we know that when we use though, we can also use although. So we can also say although she tried her best, she did not succeed. Remember to put the comma separating both the clauses. Now you can begin the complex sentence with the conjunctions or you can have the conjunction in the middle of the complex sentence. So you can also write, she did not succeed though she tried her best or she did not succeed although she tried her best. Now let us try to do this exercise. Transform the following sentence from compound to complex. The old man is very rich but he is very lonely. So there are two main clauses here. The old man is very rich. He is very lonely. And both the clauses show contrasting ideas. So we have used the conjunction but. Now how will we write this sentence as a complex sentence without changing its meaning? We will write it as although the old man is very rich, he is very lonely or the old man is very lonely, although he is very rich. You can also write it as, though the old man is very rich, he is very lonely. Or you can also write, the old man is very lonely, though he is very rich. 
Now let us see how we can change a complex sentence to a compound sentence without changing the meaning. We can prove that light travels in a straight line. Now this sentence is made up of two clauses. We can prove is an independent clause or a main clause. That light travels in a straight line is our subordinate clause here. So how will we write this as a compound sentence? We will write it as light travels in a straight line and we can prove it. So what have we actually done here? Here we have kept our independent clause as it is. We can prove and we have written light travels in a straight line as our independent clause by removing the conjunction that. So we have one independent clause light travels in a straight line and we have another independent clause we can prove but we are not making complete sense. What are we trying to prove? We can prove it and what is this it referring to? That light travels in a straight line. Since both the clauses are showing related ideas we have used the conjunction and so we have our compound sentence light travels in a straight line and we can prove it. Dad has found the file that he had misplaced. Now this sentence is made up of two clauses. Dad has found the file is the main clause. That he had misplaced is the subordinate clause. Now something here happens first. What happens first? He had misplaced the file first and then he has found it again. So how will we write it as a compound sentence? We will write it as dad had misplaced a file but he has found it. Now remember that here we have used the because we are referring to a specific file. But when we write the compound sentence we will not write the. We will write a because we are not referring to any specific file. We are just saying that dad has lost a file. So in this compound sentence we have two main clauses. Dad had misplaced a file. He has found it and both the clauses are giving a contrasting or opposite idea. So we have used the conjunction but so we have our compound sentence. Dad had misplaced a file but he has found it. After all the guests left, the staff at the inn went home. So here, what is happening first? All the guests left. This happened first. Then the staff at the inn went home. Now this sentence is made up of two clauses. After all the guests left is the subordinate clause. And the staff at the inn went home is our main clause. So how will we change it to a compound sentence? We will write it as all the guests left and the staff at the inn went home. So what have we actually done here? The staff at the inn went home remains as our main clause. The staff at the inn went home. And this part, after all the guests left, this subordinate clause is changed to a main clause by removing after. So it becomes all the guests left. Then we have used the conjunction and to join both the related clauses. And we have all the guests left and the staff at the inn went home. As soon as he received the news, he rushed to the hospital. Now, as soon as is telling us that this happened first and then immediately this happened. Now, this sentence is also made up of two clauses. The subordinate clause, as soon as he received the news and the main clause, he rushed to the hospital. So, how will we write this as a compound sentence? We will write it as he received the news 
and he immediately rushed to the hospital. So he rushed to the hospital, stays as it is, but we have included immediately here because we have to show that something was done as soon as something else happened. What happened? He received the news, this happened and then immediately this happened. So we have he received the news as one main clause. He immediately rushed to the hospital as another main clause. And these clauses are related, so we have used the conjunction and. Now you could have also written this as, he received the news and immediately rushed to the hospital. That would also have been correct. Now let us do this exercise. Transform the following sentence from complex to compound. The children went to see the play after they put on new clothes. So let us first identify the clauses in this sentence. The children went to see the play is our main clause here. After they put on new clothes is our subordinate clause here. So how will we write this as a compound sentence? We will write it as the children put on new clothes and went to see the play. Now why have we written it like this? Let us try to understand. Now the children went to see the play after they put on new clothes. So this is happening first and then this is happening. So how have we written the compound sentence? The children put on new clothes, then went to see the play. So we have two clauses in this compound sentence. The children put on new clothes, the children went to see the play. Now because the subject is the same for both the clauses, we have just written it once and both the clauses show a related idea. So we have used the conjunction and hence our compound sentence is the children put on new clothes and went to see the play. So what have we learned today? We have learned that we can change compound sentences to complex sentences by changing an independent clause into a subordinate clause using a subordinating conjunction or a relative pronoun or a relative adverb or a question word. Also, we can change a complex sentence into a compound sentence by changing the subordinate clause into an independent clause using a coordinating conjunction. Having said that, remember that we cannot transform every sentence. I hope the transformation of compound sentences to complex sentences and vice versa without changing the meaning is now easy for you to understand. All you have to do is take up as many examples of transformation that you can find and I'm sure you will master it in no time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.